Hello everyone and welcome to my video on the Cable Bay Walkway. This is a run that I absolutely love because I grew up in the area. Um, yeah, just a real nice spot. It's a beautiful run. Um, or walk if you'd prefer to walk it. But anyway, usually you'd start right down by the beach down here. I started a bit further up the road to add on a bit of extra distance for my training. Um, when you start heading up from the beach, it heads up on this ridge here. It's not too steep, real nice lookout, you can see right out into the bay and stuff. It's not too steep till you get up to here, and then it's a little bit steep before you get to the top. Once you get up onto the top, which is, that's a even better space, in the video there's a few, um, or a small video taken from up there. Um, the first part of the video starts when I'm running along here. Um, it's an alright view, you can see off both sides. Something quite cool about this run also is on a, the right day, you'll quite often see dolphins out through here. Um, anyway, you head along through this, uh, like paddocks, there's cows and turkeys and goats and stuff all out in here. Um, you go go around through this uh, native bush it's real nice um, just a awesome spot you can see it th through to the sea quite often and there's creeks and stuff I would definitely recommend taking your own water though because sometimes they're a bit funny if the water's not running you head around through there and then you get to these pine trees it changes into pines and you head around through them for a little bit and you come out to the top, which is above the glen, and then there's the boulder bank. Once you get to here, you can either go down the airstrip, or you can head down this track. Um, we headed down the track on this particular day, so I'll show you that. Um, yeah, you just follow the track down, um, there's a wall shed here, and another good thing about this track if you only want to go one, one, one way, you can get someone to pick you up from the Glen, or you can start at the Glen and get someone to pick you up from Cable Bay. Um, once you get over this side, you can either go back up this track or head up around in front of the wall shed. This is quite steep up through here. It's good for the training, that's why we chose to do it. You just head back up these paddocks, back around above the track that you went down and then get back onto the airstrip and just carry on up through there and then you just back into the pine trees follow the bush back and head back along through the paddocks and back out onto the top and then just back down I got quite a good video of us running down through there with a the view out onto Pippin Island and stuff but yeah that's basically the track enjoy the video thank you The first thing I'm going to talk about today is the steepness of the track. Overall, it's not a super steep track. It's got a few steep spots at the um, start of either side, at the start of the Glen or the start of Cable Bay. And you just go up through there. There's a bit of uphill going from the Cable Bay towards the Glen through the bush, but it's not a whole lot. It's, but it would be definitely easier going from the Glen towards Cable Bay through that um, native bush and pine trees. Um, overall, for the steepness, I would probably give it a 2 to 2.5 out of 5, just because there is a lot steeper tracks around. Like, um, yeah, so overall, it's not super steep. Next I'm going to talk about the scenery, and for me it's an easy 5 out of 5 because from either end, the Glen or the Cable Bay side, you've just got amazing views. The Glen side you can see the sea and the boulder bank and all the way back into Nelson City. Um, it's just an awesome spot. At the Cable Bay side you've got that awesome view of Pepin Island and you can see like the bay and the reef and 
those dolphins that you can see it's just it's just a awesome spot and then also but in between you've got the native bush which is just so special and it's a just a great spot overall easy five out of five for me rating on the trail quality overall the trail was really really nice and really really well looked after um, with the scenery I don't think that it really matters with the trail quality because the scenery just would make up for it even if the trail wasn't in good condition but it is so that's just a massive bonus for me anyway um, but yeah, overall I would give it a 5 out of 5. I think the track's just in really good condition and well looked after, so yeah, 5 out of 5. Well, those are my ratings for the track. I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to do those. Um, if you can think of any or just want to leave a suggestion or something in the comments, feel free to. I've pretty keen to get some more of these videos going on other trails around the place um, and it'd be cool to get some better ratings and that going um, these were just the ones that I could think of at the moment but yeah there's still a few minutes left in the clip so feel free to just sit back and watch the rest of the video thank you
thanks everybody for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you did i will be doing more of these videos on the trails and tracks around the nelson area and maybe even further um, if you have any suggestions to do with the videos i should do or the ratings or anything like that feel free to leave them in the comments below um, i look forward to reading those actually it would be really cool well i hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching